Hey guys, it's your bro back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to actually bulk move your issues from one project to the another project. Now, disclaimer. So, you need to have two permissions. Uh, from the source project, you need to have the edit issues permission. And for your destination project, you need to have the create issues permission. So here's what we're going to do. Let me go to the platform development. And within the platform development, I'm going to click on issues. And within the specific issue, uh, within these issues, I'm going to click on three dots in here. And it's saying bulk change all 1000 issues. Now, I believe that the maximum of the issues that you can actually bulk move from one project to the another is going to be around 5000 issues. But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be doing that. So I'm going to be, ah, yeah, it's 1000 issues. Okay, that is the limit. My mistake. So 1000 issues and within the 1000 issues, let's say I'm not going to move all of them. So I'm going to choose these issues right here. And now what I actually have to do is basically to choose the operation. So this is what I got. All right. So it's going to take me long time it's gonna take me the long way so you have to scroll all the way down until you actually see the next button yeah the next button is not gonna be right there it's gonna be on the bottom of your issues so yeah prepare to actually scroll all right I have the move issues and it's saying, first of all, some issues will lose the relationship with their parent epic. You're moving some issues away from their parent epic to avoid losing the relationship between these issues and their parent move the epic issue as well. It says the epic relationship won't be lost moving between company managed projects. But then again, it's giving you the disclaimer basically um, yeah some issues will lose the relationship but then it's saying the epic relationship will be lost so within the epics and since since these are the uh, user stories this might actually happen so be careful when you're actually moving your issues that are actually having their uh, parents as well so you need to make sure that you also move those epics too in this case I'm not gonna be doing that so I'm just gonna be moving the issue issues from one project to the another project yeah I have a I'm gonna say I'm gonna move this to the engineering support and these are the issue types that are actually given to me. Now, why do I see these issue types? Let's say more issue types, because this is going to be a service management project. Now, the question is, can you move between those projects? And the answer is yes. So from software to business, from software to service management, and vice versa for all of those projects okay and i'm gonna say that this is going to be the axis now it's going to say apply this mapping for your other issue types and i'm going to say no this is not going to be applied for all of the issue types the rest of them actually and also it's going to ask you like um, 
what current status this is going to be because you're going to be you also need to determine what the new status of these issues um, is going to be so that's why the moving uh, the bulk moving issues from one project to the another project can get tricky okay so it's going to be from to do in open yeah so basically this is when you're actually having the um, to do status category and within that to do status category you actually want to make sure that the target status that you're actually getting there is within the same status category so you don't create any further confusions or something like that so you're gonna click on next and uh, when you actually click on next you're gonna get more things so first uh, you're going to know that basically some of the impacts in here is that versions and components data will be permanently lost so first of all the thing is uh, other compatible fields will appear empty even if you choose to retain their values so this is going to be interesting in here now you can actually check this box in here to send the mail for this update and it will say it will send the for each issue in the bulk operation now you want to be careful about this because if you're bulk moving like 1000 issues in one batch then 1000 issues in another batch it's gonna be a wreck when it comes to um, notifications and I don't think that this is going to be a good idea the better idea is to actually inform your team that you're gonna be doing this of course and this is some of the requirements but doing like and sending the email for uh, each of the issue that where the update has been made is just going to be a mess so be clever don't do it okay so for the components themselves right so this is going to be changed so first of all why is this going to be changed well because in um, this specific service management project well you also have some kind of components but as you can see it's very different from these components right here so yeah um even if you choose to retain their values okay yeah so that is something that um, can affect you uh, as well request type yeah you also have the option to actually go with the request type I'm gonna need to say no I'm just gonna go click on next and uh, I'm just gonna confirm this all right so this is a uh, yeah that's when it gets tricky when you're moving from the software to service management because the service management also has the request types and those request types are basically um, in the uh, dependency of their issue types so that is another thing that you actually need to um, you need to well look for and basically it's all done so we we have done it the issues have been moved um, yeah uh, platform development and we actually said that basically this is going to be an engineering support and within the engineering support now some of them might actually appear in the queues so we're going to take care of that because it's not really intuitive when you have this uh, being shown as uh, the queues themselves so let me go to the project settings in here within the project settings what i want to do is i want to go for the features and when the features you actually gonna turn on the views so the views 
are now including your both boards and the calendars as well so you don't want to get confused with that so now it's called the views and when you go for the views this is this is actually your board and these are the issues that were actually moved in here now if we if we actually go here as you can see components uh, they're not yeah components none so the data is actually being lost so this is something that you need to keep in mind when you're actually doing something like this and uh, to actually uh, know the consequences of doing something like this but yeah this uh, this is all about the bulk moving of the issues and yeah uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye